Hello and welcome to Flory Models. Today we've got Bronco's 135th scale. This is the British Army ATV quad bike with trailer. So you obviously get all the crew and the bits and pieces in this little build here. So having a look around on the box, see, very nice box art. Code number for this one is CB35207, okay. And then down in here we get an idea of actually what we're gonna get. So we've got some decals, nice bit of photo etch. Okay, down in here, as I said, price is around about 27 pounds. That's the actual quad with the trailer on there as well. So, as always, we'll slip into the box. <coughs> okay, and then down in here, if we have a look in the instructions first, let's put that out of the way. As you can see, nice up color sheet on the outside. Color call outs, obviously, Mr. Hobby, uh, uh, Hobby Color, Umbral, and Tamiya, as you might imagine. Sprue trays, obviously, your normal sort of layout with these things, and then. In we go. So starting off obviously with the quad, uh, it looks like it's all the running gear, suspension, things like that all going down in there. All right, a couple of bits to remove. They're being pointed out here by the little knife. Okay, exhaust pipe system being fitted down onto this one and then working around with the actual inner guard, things like that. As I said, it's not just a shake and bake, two bits and you're done. It is a fully detailed quad. Okay, more parts all being added down into this one. Obviously, we've got the extra side of the engine, uh, the rails being fitted, the seats, handlebars, usual things like that. A little bit of photo etch all the way through. Then we've got the actual wheels and tyres being fitted onto this one, suspension system going in there, and then obviously bringing the actual main body down onto the chassis front ball bar sort of completes your quad area next off it's in got a little bit of stowage equipment obviously being put together a little bit of uh, photo etch bins being put together and then those being fitted onto the back of the actual quad then it's into the trailer itself so a trailer going together as you might imagine right the way over this one wheels being fitted in and then obviously the equipment stowage racks and then obviously we've got the little bridges and de-ditching equipment obviously being fitted onto those just like that with a stretcher on the top so again a couple of options you can either have them to the sides and on you can have them in the top whichever way you want to do it or you can make a little mini diorama with it over there like that then we've got the color call outs uh, and painting for the actual crew itself all right right the way through of obviously natural wood and uh, dark being fitted down in there or you've got the more modern version of the actual uh, camo on there as well with the MTP uh, stuff being fitted down onto it okay and then obviously call outs for the actual vehicle itself which is pretty much just going to be sand and black all over so very nice indeed uh, if you haven't seen any sort of Bronco stuff before they can be a little bit rugged but the detail is absolutely phenomenal. They do some really, really nice stuff. It's just sometimes you look at it, you think initially off the bat, there's not much to quite look at. So let's have a look at this part here to see what we've actually got. Okay, so over here on the close-up, you can see we've actually got the photo etch, which is really nice, uh, really done. We've got the decals down in here, quite nice. Couple of little bits of clear parts and the all-important tires, which actually don't look too bad at all. It doesn't look like there's a center seam on those. So that's very nice indeed, so that's all right. So they're all stuck to a little card to keep them flat, which is nice touch. Okay, so where are we gonna start? Let's start with the big screw. Okay, so down in here, we've actually got uh, the main parts. Again, it's quite a soft plastic uh, when you first feel it. And then obviously when you move into it a little bit closer, as you can see here, it's actually very, very nice. And again, it's that initial thing of thinking, oh, it's nothing to it, but actually it is. Okay, very little flash on this, just a couple of bits here and there on the smaller parts for hats, but generally very nice. No sink marks or anything. You see the body down in there looking very nice across the seats and all the equipment. Actually, as you can see, it's really very, very heavily detailed for such a small little vehicle. Very nicely done indeed. And on the back side, as you can see, ejector pins, they're either flush or a little bit raised, which is what I like. I prefer them a little bit raised because you can sand them off with ease without having to need any filler. There is the odd little bit like down in here. You can see this little peg. All right, but generally all of that's very nicely done. Very well thought out as well. All the details nice and crisp and sharp right the way through, right the way through to these little areas down like on this guy down in here. Beautiful details on such a small piece of equipment. Okay, so... Then we've got, that's the trailer, we'll look at that in a moment. So we've got some of the stowage equipment. Okay, so down in here, as you can see, we've got the backpacks for the actual crew, molded in, very nicely done, again with the webbing, and we've got the weapons as well. 
uh, being fitted down in there, really nice. And again, all the various nice touches with this one, like the actual uh, bipod, things like that down on there. Nicely done indeed. All right, again, beautifully done. Both sides, great level of detail on those. Nothing you can complain about there. Okay, then we've got the actual trailer. Okay, so on the trailer, as we can see, again, very nicely done. Good, crisp, sharp details right the way through. The tow hitch, everything down in this one. Again, the little bridging equipment. Nice to see some good textures as well down here on the stretcher. And that goes both sides with no annoying ejector pins underneath it or anything else like that. So that is actually very, very nice indeed. Again, it is the thing with Bronco, it's the safe option. You know they're gonna be good. One of the things they are sort of legendary for is their figures though. So down in here, we've actually got the figures. So if we start with some bodies. Okay, so as you can see down in here, a little bit of flash all over this one. Just gonna need a little bit of cleaning up. Okay, and generally little bits and pieces, but the, the sort of ruffles and the folds in all the material and things like that as well for him being seated on the quad, beautifully done. Very, very nice indeed. Different types of webbing packs. Uh, and Molly's on here as well for whichever version you want to do. I'd say the helmets, the faces look very nice. Again, a little bit of flash on them, but nothing that's not going to take a couple of swipes to the sounding stick just to get rid of. Okay, and some more pieces for the pouches and obviously things like that. So that's actually very, very nicely done indeed. Uh, mirror pair, really, just for the other one. Okay, so we've got two figures uh, down in there, and then we've got the one that's standing. Okay. So again, very, very nicely done indeed. Again, it's the level of detail in all of the ones as well with the actual uh, knee pads and the pouches and everything else like that. It looks really very, very nice. And again, a little bit of cleanup required, but really nothing. And the faces themselves looking pretty good. Got the chin straps on like that as well. No problem with that at all. And there we go, that's it, short and sweet. But actually, as I said, for something that is tiny, as in that, that's a lot of detail packed into that one. As I said, the great thing about the quad is that you've obviously got all the running gear and everything else, a lot of it will be hidden away, but you could easily do a little diorama with it, with things like being worked on, open up, stuff like that, because it lends itself quite to it. Again, with the crew, the various things on there, very nice, what's not to love about it. So there we go, that's the British Army ATV quad bike and trailer by Bronco in 135th scale.